Welcome, Recorey basketball fans. Tonight is Monday, January the 7th. Spartans are playing host to the Albany Huskies here at Recorey High School. PA announcer John Atchison is going through the starting lineups. So I'll give them to you here. First for the visiting, the guests on the scoreboard, the Albany Huskies, it'll be number 11, Jordan Schiffler. He's a 6'1 senior. Isaac Nett, number 12, 5'11 senior. Number 21, Nolan Reuter. Reader, Nolan Reader is a 6'2 sophomore. 35, Cameron Gable. Gable is a 6'2 junior. And number 54, Adam Winkles, a 6'3 senior. Schiffler, Nett, Reader, Gable, and Winkles for the Huskies. For the Spartans, it'll be number five, Corbin Alexander. Corbin is a 6'3 senior. Brett Sawada, number 11, a 5'11 junior. Number 13, Andrew Anderson, a 6'4 junior. 24 is Mason Roos, 6'6 senior. And 42, Luke Humbert, 6'1 sophomore. Alexander, Sawada, Anderson, Roos, and Humbert for the Spartans. Spartans come into the game 2-8, and eight, coming off a overtime loss at Sauk Rapids this past Friday. Game they could have just easily won, obviously, if it goes into overtime, but they had a good look at the end of regulation. Just couldn't get a shot to fall, and things just didn't happen in overtime. So Spartans come in 2-8. and eight. Albany comes into this game 7-3. and three. Of course, they play in different conferences. Albany in the, I think it's still called the Central Minnesota Conference. Spartans play in the Central Lakes Conference. Huskies getting some last second instructions from head coach Corey Schlegel. And now we're ready to go. It'll be Bruce in the jump circle for the Spartans, and it'll be Cameron Gable, 6'2", junior for the Huskies. So they list Roos at 6'6", more like 6'4". Definite height advantage over the 6'2", Cameron Gable. So we'll see if Roos can win the jump here. And both, te both guys kind of whiffed on it, but Corbin Alexander controlled it for the Spartans. So Ricori with the first possession inside to Humbert, off the glass, got it. So good pass from Roos. Spartans up 2-0. Played about 20 seconds. Bounce pass, Winkles, three-pointer is long. Anderson with the rebound. So Spartans with a chance to build on that early lead. Roos in the corner. Sawada wide open for three. He'll take it and he'll drain it. So 5-0, Spartans with the early lead. Stolen away, taken away now. Anderson with it, so turnover on the Huskies. Bruce, top of the key. Kicks it out. Humbert, three-pointer, that's going to be off. Rebound is by Nett, and he's followed by Roos. So Isaac Nett with the rebound. Roos picks up his first foul. Number 11, Jordan Schiffler into the front court. These are for Reader. Now they bounce it inside. Winkles. Gets it to go. So first points for the Huskies. Winkles down low on the block. Good drop step. We got a whistle and a foul is going to go on Reeder, the 6'2 sophomore. Oh, 
16-35 in. Anderson did not get a good shot off. Got his own rebound. This time it goes. 7-2. Spartans with an early lead. Dribble drive kicked out for Reeder. Three-pointer is good. So it's 7-5. The Huskies answered. We're right back. Humbert in the corner, now gets it out top to Alexander. Right down the lane, go up with it, he does, off the glass and in. Spartans with a definite, definite height advantage, that time he shot it over the 5'11", Isaac Nett. Reader into the lane, lost it, but a foul is gonna be called on one of the Spartans. It's going on Sawada. Isaac Nett to inbound it for the Huskies. He gets it into Schiffler. Sawada trying to swipe it away, nothing going. Reeder with it on the far side. Too much dribbling and now he gets rid of it. Schiffler with it. Skip pass for Nett, three-pointer is good. So 9-8 now, Spartans with a one-point lead. They get it inside to Roos. Little up and under, off the glass and good for Roos. So all five starters have scored for the Spartans and it's 11-8. Right back Reeder, can't get it to go. Roos can't get the rebound. Winkles, nope, that's Gable, comes down with it. And it's 11-10, again that Huskies answer right back. 11 to 10, 14.50 to go here. Roos open for three, got it. So both teams showing a little offensive firepower here. 14-10, Spartans by four. Winkles, now net with it on the far side, gets a pick from Gable in the lane, and travel is called. He dragged his pivot foot. Forty-four, Andrew Hahn comes in for the Huskies along with number 30. Ethan Navrato, Navrato, 6'3", sophomore. Spin it around the horn, they get it inside to Roos. Kicks it back out, Sawada, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Navra Navratil. Schiffler with it now. Little dribble and he dragged his pivot foot. Turnover on the Huskies, that's three. Fourteen ten now. Spartans with a four point lead. Sawada in the corner. They bounce it to Alexander. Double team gets it back. Sawada now Anderson. A quick trigger. That's going to be off. And Reeder comes away with it for the Huskies. In the corner, Navratil. Now Nett with it, picks up his dribble. Gets it out to Han. Both teams man defense. Sawada switches up on Schiffler, now Han. Three-pointer for Nett, that one's off. And battle for the rebound, Alexander comes up with it, tried to save it in, it went right to Nett. His shot, uh, his penetration into the lane is good, and Isaac Nett has five. Boy, Spartans got to come away with that. And it's 14-12, Spartans by two. Bruce just drops it for Sawada, then gets it back. Tried to bounce it into Anderson, and Hahn kicked it out of bounds, Andrew Hahn. Mitchell Reber and Alex Seiler. 
come in for the Huskies. So they've played nine guys already. Sawada gets it out to Humbert. Now stolen away, so turnover on the Spartans. Tried to bounce it in, boy, not even close. That's a bad turnover on the Huskies. Sawada to Anderson, right down the lane. That's a force, another turnover. Well, Andrew's gotta pick his spots, there was just nothing there. Inside to Han, Roos is out of position. And Han got it to go. Roos just got spun around and we're all tied at 14 now. 11.55 to go here, first tie since 0-0. Kick it out, Sawada, three-pointer on the way, that's long. Hahn with the easy rebound. And here's Schiffler into the front court. Little hesitation dribble, got it to go. And now Huskies with their first lead at 16-14. 11 and a half to go. And that's, boy, that could have been an offensive foul just as well, but it's gonna go on the Huskies. Goes on, foul goes on Siler, number five. Blake Miller and Jaden Phillippe check in for the Spartans. Sawada tried to get it into Roos, but it was kicked away, so it'll stay with the Spartans. Alexander, all alone, three won't go. Of Rottil with the rebound, and he leaves it for Reeder. Reeder with it. Drops it, Navratil, three-pointer is no good. Roos with the rebound, and he leaves it for Philippi. Roos, wide open for three, got it. So we haven't seen enough of that this year. That's two threes in the game for Mason. That might be the first time that's happened all year. He has eight and it's 17-16. Spartans regain the lead. Hahn with it. Backs Roos down to the middle of the lane. Missed the shot. Miller with the rebound. Leaves it for Phillippe. Jaden into the front court. That's Roos with it. Spins it back out to Miller, now Alexander with it. Lob it in for Roos, kicks it out. Philippi, wide open three, short. Alexander had it, but lost it, and here come the Huskies with it. Reeder crawls it across the timeline. Skip pass for Seiler. Lost the handle, now gets it back. Seiler with it again. Now in the corner, that's that was Reber, and then he threw it out of bounds. So turnover on the Huskies, that's five and a half. Entering the game for the Spartans, number 23, Dylan Rausch. 23, Dylan Rausch in for the first time, along with 41, Tucker Holkinson, another sophomore. And Andrew Anderson checks back in. So the Spartans have now played nine guys as well. Roush with it. So we have Holkinson and Phillippe, the two sophomores. Anderson, the junior, and then Miller and Roush, the seniors for the Spartans. Roush, three, or uh, Anderson, three-pointer is no good. Reeder with the rebound. Spartans with a one-point lead here, 17-16. 9 10 to go. Reber with it, now Seiler. Dribbling, and now he gets to the basket, and it's blocked by Miller. Holkinson, left hand down the lane, got it. Got it. 
So Tucker with a strong left-handed drive got it to go, and the foul goes on Reeder. That's his second. Free throw is good. So Tucker with three. Spartans by four, 20 to 16. Tyler in the corner. Oh! All right, Hokinson's gonna get called for the foul. This looked like good help defense. Oh shoot, it's Jimmy's. I told him the wrong one. Three-pointer by Schiffler, no good. Put back is good for Gable. And it's 20 to 18 now. Spartans by two. Inside Holkinson. Philippi tried a little give and go, nothing there. Now Anderson has it. Philippi, quick three, in and out, no good. And now Nett with it, leaves it for Winkles. Schiffler now right in front of the Spartan bench. Reber into the lane, bounces it for Gable. Now Gable gets it back. Gable from the baseline is good. Gable was six and we're all tied at 20 again. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Philippi, now Hokinson, top of the key to Roush. Miller gets it back, Tucker with it. Nice pass inside to Miller, got it. So good assist from Holkinson. Miller got it to go and it's 22-20 now. Spartans back up by two. And Winkles right back, ties it up. And we're gonna get a timeout for the Spartans. 7.22 to go, we're all tied at 22. All right, we're back after the Spartan timeout. We're all tied at 22. Huskies come back out in that man defense. Both teams have played man the whole game. Kind of a back and forth first half here. We're down to seven minutes to go now. Huskies have had a couple of two point leads. Spartans had a lead as big as five at seven to two. Tried to get it inside to Anderson, and the foul is going to be called on Winkles. That'll be his first. Just the fourth team foul. Not a lot of fouls here. Four fouls on the Huskies, two whistled on the Spartans. Hahn and Seiler check back in for the Huskies. Philippi skips it for Roush. Now Miller down the lane kicks it out for Anderson. Top of the key, Philippi. Anderson lets her fly, no good. Winkles with the good position with the rebound and the Huskies have a chance to regain the lead here. And a foul is gonna go on Philippi. Bruce comes back in for Roush. Humbert back in for Miller. Inbound to Hahn. Well, all alone is net, and he's going to get called for the travel. Wow. I don't know about that one. Spartans catch a break. He was all alone. But the refs thought he shuffled his feet first before the shot went in. Humbert with it now. Spartans with a chance to grab the lead back. 
Roos, who's already hit a couple of threes. Oh, there was a travel, and he turned it over anyway. They missed the travel, but he threw it out of bounds, so it's a turnover on the Spartans. Five forty-five to go here in the first half. Still tied at twenty-two. Net top of the key. Little stop and go. Anderson got a piece of it. Net got it back, and this one goes for the senior Isaac Net. He has seven in the game. Huskies back up by two. Anderson gets it out for Philippi. Humbert now. Top of the key to Holkinson. 5.15 to go, threw it to Humbert, and he wasn't looking. So it's two turnovers in a row for the Spartans. But they just threw it out of bounds. Sawada so checks back in for Holkinson. Schiffler kicks it out, wide open net. No good. Roos tips the rebound out and then gets it back. And he leaves it for Philippi. Under five to go now at 4.55. Well, Roos could have stepped right into that three, but he pulled it back out. Sawada, top of the key to Anderson. Boy, lobbed it in, threw it to the wrong side. He was there. Philippi's pass was just to the wrong side, so it's another turnover on the Spartans. And a quick shot is missed, and Anderson with the rebound. Four twenty-three to go here. Philippi, Roos is an open there. Anderson wide open, top of the key. Pulled it back down. Uh, again, they throw it to the wrong side. That's four turnovers in a row for the Spartans. Tough to score when you don't get a shot off. Humbert, oh, there's a travel or a foul. They call it travel. So the first five minutes or so, a lot of points scored in the last 10 have been pretty stale for both teams. Spartans with six turnovers in the half. Huskies with seven. And I think it's been four possessions in a row where the Spartans have turned it over. And make it five as Roos drags his pivot foot. Boy. All right, Schiffler. Chucks it to the wing to Reber. Now Schiffler gets it back. Baseline to Seiler. Now Schiffler gets it back again. Schiffler lobs it into Hahn. Three pointer on the way is good for Jordan Schiffler. He has five in the game. It's 27-22, biggest lead of the game for the Huskies. Humbert, now Sawada, top of the key. And Sawada stepped out of bounds. You gotta have an idea where you're at. So it's another turnover on the Spartans. I guess that's one I've never understood. You catch a pass and your foot's out of bounds. Reber bounces it into Hahn. Now Sawada knocks it away and it's a turnover on the Huskies. Bounce it into Humbert, clears himself and he got it. Luke with four, that's the first points in a long time for the Spartans. And it's 27-24 now. Huskies by three and a travel call. 
And the turnover parade continues. Thirty-five Gable checks back in for the Huskies. Bruce with it now, top of the key to Alexander. Now Sawada. Alexander in the lane, pull up is good. Corbin has four, four in a row for the Spartans, and it's 27 26. Albany by one, 135 to go here. Schiffler skip pass for Navratil. And he's going to go to the line to shoot two as a foul. He's going on Humbert. His first. First free throw is good for Ethan Navratil. Second one drops as well, and it's back up to a three-point lead now, 29-26. Alexander kicks it out to Humbert. And they pass it around the horn. Bruce bounces it into Humbert, kicks it out. Anderson, wide open three, short. And pinballs back out to Navratil. And he kind of lumbers it into the front court. Seiler, and it's blocked. Three-point shot was blocked by Alexander. Out of bounds, so it'll stay with the Huskies. Pull up in the lane, tough shot, and he airballed it. Humbert with the rebound. 44 seconds to go now. Humbert, top of the key now. Alexander, three-pointer, no good. Boy, and we're down to 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Husky's gonna hold it for one. They're up by three. Oh, not a good shot. Fourteen seconds left and he missed it. So now the Spartans are gonna get the last shot. Ten seconds. I don't know if Sawada realized it. Alexander down the lane. Pull up is good. And that's gonna do it as the horn sounds to end the first half with the score Albany 29 and Ricori 28. Ready to start the second half. Albany with that one point lead, 29 to 28. It went back and forth. Both teams had a lead as high as five points in the first half. And both teams, well, Albany had nine turnovers. I had eight for Ricori. So pretty evenly matched, pretty evenly played first half. Out of the, uh, out of the first possession, Anderson steals it away. So turnover on the Huskies. So Spartans with a chance to grab the lead back here in their first possession. Oh, and they almost turn it right back over, but it was last touched by Gable. Thank you. Alexander to inbound it. Got Alexander, Roos, Anderson, Sawada, and Humbert. Now the Spartans do turn it over as Roos is called for the travel. So it was a well-played, like, first seven or eight minutes by both teams. Good flow to the game, and then 
all of a sudden it turned into an exchange of turnovers the second part of the first half. And the beginning of the second half starts out that way as well. Schiffler with it, looking to get a pick from Gable. Now he pulls up for a three, in and out. Alexander gets his hands on the rebound, then pulls it away. Boy, that's just a force. That's not going to get there. Two possessions, two turnovers for the Spartans. And now Net is going to get called for the travel. Anderson in the corner, so another chance for the Spartans to get capture the lead. Roos with it, far side, puts it on the floor, picks it up, kicks it out to Sawada. Back into Roos, knocked away, and now a foul is going to be called on Schiffler. Hey man. What do you know? Oh, so, so the ball will stay with the Spartans. Sawada will inbound it. Far side gets it into Roos. Hands it back to Sawada. Had the three. Pulled it back down. Now Alexander will chuck up a three. And that's long. Easy rebound for Reeder. Reeder takes it across the timeline. On the wing to Gable. Now inside. Actually that was Winkles but inside to Gable. No shot. Foul is going to go on the Spartans. And it's going to go on Roos, and that's going to be his second. Do you know this ref right here? What's his name? Lee Boris. Boris. Yeah, that's his son right there. All right, Husky's possession. Schiffler far side. Yeah. Inside Winkle's no good, but he's going to go to the line to shoot two. As it's going on either Anderson or Humbert. Man, it's going on Anderson. First foul on Anderson. Winkles at the line shooting two when he got the first one. So minute minute 50 into the second half, we have our first points. It's 30 to 28, Huskies by two. And Husk and Winkles can't get the second one to go. So Spartans can tie it with a two. Or take the lead with a three here. Bounce pass into Roos. Now into the lane. Boy, that's an awkward shot. And then he commits a foul. Boy, not a good possession for Roos. It's going to be the third foul on Roos. Wow. Actually, they called the foul on Alexander. Down the floor, they missed the bunny. Anderson with it, across the timeline, and they turn it over. So both teams having a hard time hanging on to the ball. Spartans have only gotten one shot, and it was not a good one. Actually, two shots. They got a deep three by Alexander, and then the forced, the forced one by Roos on the last possession. Free throw is missed by Nett. So Huskies missing out on an opportunity to build on that lead. They've missed a couple free throws in a row. 15.34 to go here, and Nett got the second one. So Nett with eight, he had seven at the half to lead the Huskies. Bruce has eight for the Spartans. 31-28, Huskies by three. Alexander flips it top of the key to Sawada, and Anderson was going back door, and now they do turn it over. Spartans need a timeout. Schiffler with the easy layup. And the Spartans have come out flat here in the second half. Sawada in the lane, nice pass to Roos. So the good feed from Sawada, Roos now has 10. 
and it's 33-30, Huskies by three. Bounced in to, that was Gables, now they kick it back out. Boy, Reeder lost his dribble, but he was fortunate. One of the Spartans touched it as it flew out of bounds. Miller comes in for Anderson for the Spartans. Sh uh, Schiffler to inbound it. Right down the lane, that's Winkles, missed the shot. Gable put back, no good. Winkles with it. Roos got a piece of it. Coach Schlegel wanted a foul, and now a foul is going to go on Winkles, of course. And Coach Schlegel not going to be happy with that one. Second foul on Winkles. And as bad as the second half has started for the Spartans, they can tie it with a three here. Ooh, double dribble, they didn't call it. Into Humbert, Bruce double team, don't throw it. And Schiffler stepped out of bounds trying to save it so it'll stay with the Spartans. Not doing a good job of seeing that weak side defense coming. Sawada will inbound it. Miller got it, gets it back to Sawada. Now Humbert. Roos for three, no good. Schiffler with the rebound and he'll bring it across the half court line. Reeder, a quick three, got it. And now Coach Peterson's gonna call a timeout. 30 second timeout. 13.55 to go, it's 36.30 Huskies. All right, we're back after the Spartan timeout. It's 36.30, Huskies by six. Alexander gives it to Miller. Skip it for Miller, open for three, no good. Alexander had his hands on the rebound. Not sure why they tried to save it. Humbert kicks it out for Sawada. And it's swatted out of bounds by Winkles. Subs in for the Huskies. Alexander with the inbound. Kicks it out to Humbert. Three-pointer on the way. Got it. Humbert with seven. Spartans down by three. Net kicks it out for Hahn. That's short. Net with the rebound. Roos knocked it away from him. Net gets it back. And now the foul is going to go on Roos. And that will be his third. Dylan Roush checks in for Roos. Phillippe getting set to come in for the Spartans. They tried to get it into Reuter. Reader. Nolan Reeder, R-U-E-T-E-R. Philippi checks in for Alexander. Reeder gets it back. Now back out to Net. Boy, Humbert almost got the steal, but Schiffler came down with it. And an offensive foul is gonna go on Navatil. So it's a turnover on the Huskies. Twenty-eight 
12 and a half to go here. Spartans down by three. Uh, in the lane, Sawada got it back. It was just up for grabs there for a second. Now Sawada, Humbert, far side, takes it to the rack, pulls it back out, tried to anyway, and it's taken away by Schiffler, and we're gonna get a quick timeout by Coach Schlegel as he was kind of pinned in over there. Timeout, 12-10 to go, it's Huskies by three. All right, back after the Husky timeout, it's 36-33. Huskies by three, they bounce at high post to Han. Now inside to Reeder, shot up, no good. Miller with the rebound. And Miller will bring it into the front court, gets it to Sawada, and he's called for the travel. Spartans unable to get anything going offensively. And maybe part of it is the Albany defense. Shot is tipped by Rausch. And he should have just let it go. Instead, Han tried to save it. And he was the last one to touch it, so it'll be Spartan basketball. Can't really call that a turnover, but if he's paying attention, he realizes the ball was tipped. Miller for Sawada. Now Humbert. 11.15 to go. Roush, top of the key. Don't pick up your dribble. He gets it to Phillippe. Just kind of playing catch on the perimeter. We're down to 10.50. Phillippe trying to get it going and he got it. So first points for Phillippe after scoring 26 in the game at Sock Rapids last week. And we're all tied at 36. Humbert almost had a pick there. Seiler with it now. Reader. And the foul is going to go on Philippi. Five fouls now on the Spartans. Anderson for Humbert. Hokinson for Sawada. Right down to the block, it's Han operating on Rausch. Kicks it out, Navratil, no good. Hokinson with the rebound, leaves it for Philippi. Anderson, top of the key to Miller. We're all tied up, Spartans with a chance for their first lead since late in the first half. 10 minutes to go. Inside Hokinson. Uh, Takes a dribble, picks it up, now Rausch. Leaves it for Holkinson, now Miller. Bounces it for Rausch, he's got something off the glass and in. So at the 9.30 mark, Spartans take their first lead of the first of the second half since, uh, actually it's their first lead since it was 22 to 20. Anderson rebounds a miss, and here comes Holkinson. Spartans with a chance to build on their lead. Phillippe slashes into the lane. Now Miller, double team. Somebody's got to be open. Now he's all alone. Lefty layup is good. And we're going to get a timeout. Timeout on the floor with 9.01 to go. It's Ricori 40 and Albany 36. All right, we're back after the Husky timeout. It's been 10 unanswered for the Spartans. 
They were down by six at 36-30. And now they've scored 10 on answer to take a four point lead. And Schiffler dribbles it out of bounds for the turnover. So Spartans with a chance to build on that four point lead and these possessions are big. There's still a ton of time left, 8.45. But when you have the lead and you have a, a, a chance to extend that lead, it ends up to be a big deal when there's a couple of minutes to go. Hokinson top of the key. Awkwardly gets it out to Anderson. Oh, he had Roush open, but Blake was dribbling it. All right, Anderson for three, no good. Roush with the rebound, put back, no good. Boy, Dylan with a good offensive rebound, but he missed the shot. Now net to the basket, and the foul is going to go on Miller before the shot. It'll be the first foul on Blake Miller. But it's the seventh team foul on the Spartans, so it'll be a one and one for Isaac Nett. And he got it. Nett with nine. That breaks a string of 10 in a row for the Spartans. It's 40 to 37. And he got them both. Net with 10. Eight minutes to go right now. Miller for Philippi. Now Anderson. Roush was cutting, almost missed the pass. And they throw it into Roush. And he picks a, takes a dribble, picks it up. Now Philippi with it. Hokinson down the lane, lefty runner is good. Hokinson with a strong left-handed drive off the glass. He has four. Spartans back up by four. 7.20 to go now. Reader, oh, grab it. Tried to dump it in to Gable and Roush, if he would have realized how easy it were up. Oh, Gable wasn't even gonna touch it. He could have just caught it, but instead he kind of swatted it out of bounds. So it'll stay with the Huskies. Schiffler in the corner. Winkles deep in the front court. Now hands it back to Schiffler. Net. And a foul is gonna go on Miller. That'll be his second. So Isaac Net will go back to the line to shoot a one and one. Oh, net in and out, man. Tough luck there. Fortunate for the Spartans. They're up by four, 42-38. Miller into the lane, now leaves it for Philippi. Boy, Schiffler just swatted it away from him as Philippi got lazy with it. Ned into the lane, gets Roush into the air, kicks it out. Now it's Gable, Winkles, Ned gets it back. And now Schiffler will kind of reset to Ned. Reader with it. Down to the baseline, Schiffler. Tough shot, got it to go. Schiffler with nine and it's 42-40. Spartans by two, 5.55 to go. Roush with it. And they turn it over and a foul is gonna go on Roush. First foul on Roush, it's going to be a one and one 
for a reader. So Roos comes back, back in for the Spartans. Han and Nav Navratil for the Huskies. First free throw is good for Nolan Reeder. He is seven and he can tie it with the second one and he does. So we're all tied again at the 546 mark. Spartans had several opportunities to build on that four point lead and now it's tied at 42. Philippi had Schiffler up in the air. Boy, nothing called and now the foul is gonna go on Philippi. So, Schiffler will be shooting a one and one. Uh, it's a tenth ball, so he's shooting two. Missed the first one. Got the second one, so first lead in a while for the Huskies since the nine and a half minute mark. Schiffler has 10 in the game. Spartans need some points here. They're down by one, 43-42. They bounce it into Anderson. Now Miller back to Holkinson. Tucker. Spotted by Philippi out of bounds. So Schiffler with the block three point attempt. Philippi to inbound for the Spartans. Roos with it. Inside to Roos, got his guy up in the air. Man, bad shot and a foul. Jump ball. Jump ball is called first. And it's going to be Spartan possession. Sawada and Alexander back in. Along with Humbert, Anderson, and Roos for the Spartans. Sawada to inbound it. Foul's gonna go on net. That'll be the fourth foul on the Huskies. Sawada leaves it for Alexander, and a travel call. Four thirty-five to go here. Albany by one. I think what the refs are discussing is a possession arrow. It should be, should be Albany's possession arrow and it still shows it's the Spartans. There was a jump ball down there after the errant shot attempt by Roos. One of the officials talking to Coach Corey Schlegel for the Huskies. 
And it looks like the possession arrow is going to stay in favor of the Spartans, so not sure. Not sure why. All right, here we go. Four and a half minutes to go right now. Huskies by one, 43-42. Reader in the lane, kicks it out for Nett. Thought about it, pulled it down, and then pulled the trigger. And he drains the three, so Nett has 13. Bruce kicks it out for Anderson. Huskies by four now, 46-42. Sawada. Now Alexander gets it back. Oh, not a good time to do that. Corbin in the lane, kicks it out for Sawada. Anderson with it. Inside to Roos. Kicks it out, Sawada, three-pointer on the way, that's long. And the foul is gonna go on Alexander. All right, so second fall on Corbin, and Navrato will be at the line shooting two. They stop showing the number of fouls once they get to 10. That's at least 12 or 13 whistled on the Spartans this half. Just four on the Huskies up to this point. And he got one out of two. Nett took the rebound away, three-pointer, no good. That would have been a tough one. Anderson with the rebound, 3.20 to go now. Spartans need some points, they're down by five. Alexander in the lane, and a foul is gonna be called on the Huskies. It's gonna go on Nett. Anderson in the lane, tough shot. Wow. And the foul is going to go on Winkles. Two shots for Andrew Anderson. Third foul on Winkles. Anderson gets the first free throw. It's the first points in a long time for the Spartans. And he got them both. The Spartans down by three, three minutes to go right now. Gable with it, back out Schiffler. Huskies can afford to be patient. Any fouls are gonna result in two fouls. The two foul shots for the Huskies. Ned takes it to the rim, and the foul is going on, I believe, Anderson. It is on Andrew Anderson. It's his second. Nett got the first one. He has 14 now in the game. And he got them both, make it 15. 49-44, Huskies back up by five. They've had a lead as big as six, six here in the second half. Alexander need it, missed it. Winkles with the rebound. And again, the Huskies can afford to be patient. And we're gonna get a timeout by Coach Schlegel. 
Full timeout, 2.21 to go. It's Albany 49 and Recorey 44. All right, back after the Husky timeout, I'm sure Coach Schlegel told them that they can afford to be patient, take care of the ball, make your free throws, and you should be all right. They're up by five. 2.05 to go now. Ned into the lane, got bumped. And the foul is gonna go on either Roos or Anderson. And Isaac Ned making hay from the free throw line. Fourth foul on Roos. Phillippe back in for the Spartans. Net was 16 now to lead all scores. Schiffler has 10. Roos has 10 for the Spartans. And he missed the second one. Alexander with the rebound, quickly ahead to Sawada. Under two minutes to go now, and it's bad pass, they just turn it over. Man. Again, tough to score when you don't get a shot off. 1.56 to go, and all the Huskies need to do is just not turn it over and make their free throws. Nett gets it into Winkles. And he gets it off to Schiffler. Cross to Nett. Picks up his dribble. Now Reeder with it. Nett, and we're going to get a timeout for Coach Schlegel. Timeout on the floor. 140 to go. It's 50 to 44, Albany. All right, we're back after the Albany timeout. Spartan's best chance here is to get it on the inbound. Don't let him get it in. 140 to go, Albany up by six. They get it into Schiffler. Boy, all alone is Reeder, and he got it. Boy, somebody lost his guy. Nolan Reeder was all alone. He has 10 in the game now. As he joins Schiffler and Nett in double figures for the Huskies. Second foul on Sawada. Reeder with a chance for the three-point play. And he can't get it. Gable got his hand on the rebound, but can't control it. 52-44. Huskies by eight, minute and a half to go. Alexander inside to Humbert, kicks it out. Sawada, three-pointer, no good. Anderson with the rebound, his putback is no good. Got it back and turned it over. He tried to get it to Sawada. Now it's ahead to Gable all alone. And he missed the shot, putback is good for Nett. 54-44, we're under a minute to go now. Anderson, we need a lot in a hurry, and he missed the shot. Schiffler, and the foul is gonna go on Alexander. So the wheels kinda came off here the last couple of minutes. Spartans had the lead at 42-41. Right around the six minute mark, we are tied at 42 with 5.46 to go. And Schiffler's free throw makes it 55-44 with 50 seconds to go. He missed the second one, tipped by Humbert, tried to save it and it went right to Schiffler. And now they got a foul. Down to 40 seconds, and there's the foul. Oh. 
and Nat missed the first one. 39.7 seconds to go. Well, he missed them both. Anderson with the rebound, 37 seconds. Alexander, Huskies just don't want to foul. Tough shot, and no good. Schiffler with the rebound, 25 seconds. And that's Net in the corner, lost it, got it back. Might as well foul him, 15 seconds. Now down to Navratil, and a kick by Sawada with 10 seconds to go. And Han's gonna come in for Reber. Uh, Rod Till hands it off to Net. Five seconds left, and now they're just gonna let it go, it looks like. Now Han with it, and that's going to do it. That'll do it as the horn sounds. Final here from Macquarie High School. It was Albany 55, Macquarie 44.